What's going on, boys and girls? What's going on, depressed ball fans? Well, here we are again in the midst of a situation where we find ourselves going, why us? Why does this always happen to us? Well, it doesn't always happen to us. It happened to Georgia last week. It happened to Vandy this week. Sometimes you just show up and play like shit. And that's what we did tonight. We we went to Fayetteville, Arkansas, off a of bye week, mind you, off a of bye week, and played like hot garbage. The play calling I thought was suspect. I, I'm not a coach, so I'm not going to criticize the play calling. Nico, nothing he did today said to me this kid's going to be great. And the one play in particular, running out of bounds at the end of the game when you had to have a touchdown, period, is totally unacceptable. You can't do that. you got to have a better presence of mind than that. Joe Milton point .0 or whatever they're going to be calling this. Look, sometimes kids just do stupid shit that makes you scratch your head and go, God. And that's what I was doing as it happened. But what else are you going to do, man? Arkansas just showed up and punched us in the mouth. and They made all the ugly plays when they needed to. And Tennessee couldn't make a single play all night. I take that back. They made one play on the long pass to Dante Thornton. That was the only time we saw him all night other than when he got hurt early in the game. He comes back just in time to make one great play, which basically amounted to nothing. Our offense could not move the ball. Our defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball. It was just an ugly, ugly game. The only thing you can say about it, ugly-ass game that we lost, and we should have lost. We didn't play well enough to win that game, and we didn't win the game. Did we save Sam Pittman's job? I don't know. I don't give a shit. I don't care about Sam Pittman or Arkansas. Are you coaster freak? Keep your stupid-ass pictures and send them to somebody else. I don't care about you traveling all over the country, going to all these damn big games, and, and let me know about it. What, what does that do for me? Nothing. It doesn't change anything in my life or yours. I, actually, you need to get some friends. You need to get some real friends you can send these pictures to. People that you know and and hang out with and all that good stuff. Instead of people you've known for 16 years on YouTube. And because you don't have a life other than traveling the country. And doing things that other people can't do. You know, that, that's, that's all I'm saying. You know, I don't... Good God. What an ugly, ugly game. Three to nothing at halftime. We had no business being that close to them at halftime. They should have probably been up 24 to nothing. But we were ma we managed to keep them within striking distance, and we kind of got out a little bit in the third quarter. We got up 14 to three, and I felt comfortable. I thought, all right, here we go. We're going to get it rolling now. We're going to pull away and win. But no, Arkansas said, nope, no, you're not. You're not going away, balls. Not going to let you. And they didn't. So shout out to Arkansas for getting a huge program uh, defining for this season at least win. Shout out to you for that. Shout out to Vandy for getting a program changing and maybe developing win over Alabama. Their first ever win over the number one team. First time in 61 tries. They beat a top five team. So Tennessee fans, there's a lot of fan bases out there feeling a lot worse than us today. Everything's still out in front of us. If we go out and win all of our games, save for one, we got to reserve either Bama or Georgia as a game we could lose. But we got to beat Florida. We got to beat Mississippi State. We got to beat Kentucky. And we got to beat Vandy and anybody else left on the schedule. 
we got to beat all of the team. Basically, we got to win out, except for one of those big games, Georgia or Bama. We, I think we can win out and lose one of those games and still get in. But now the road's a lot harder. Maybe this is the game that wakes this team up finally. Because you need games like this to wake your ass up. I mean, it's not like it. It's not like Arkansas is a bad team. Yeah, they had some, they had two bad losses going into this game. Texas A and M last week, and who else? Uh, I forget who else. But if they play like that the rest of the year, which I seriously doubt they will. That's a team that could make some noise. That was a good Vanderbilt defense we saw today. Until he got hurt, the guy that we all we heard all week was uh, Taylor Green. He's going to throw. He's going to turn it over. He's a turnover machine. Not today. You always got to remember in college football, not today. And today was that day for us. Not today, boys and girls. God damn it. Believe me, ball fans, I'm hurting with you. But I'm not going to hurt. I'm going to go to sleep. Sleep just fine tonight. Get over it and move on to Florida week. We got bigger fish to fry. Snapping clear, as Butch Jones would say. Well, I can think of no better time than now to snap and clear. So, there's the snap. Here's the clear. Hug your mom and daddy. I'll see you next time. Go ball.